Good morning, guys. I'm just walking to breakfast. Wow, it's peaceful here in the Maldives. I'm gonna take you guys on a pretty interesting adventure today. Uh, we're going to a glass bottom boat. Now, apparently you can see lots of sharks and stuff from it. And just remember where we are. We're in the middle of nowhere in the Indian Ocean here. And uh, one of the little small speckled islands that is around the atolls of the Maldives. So you guys are gonna come join me for a pretty cool adventure. We're gonna film it. As we'll notice as I walk a lot around here, well, that's because this whole island is connected by uh, pretty much two little roads. Uh, there's only golf carts on this island. It's a resort island and uh, it has everything you need. This is uh, just walking by the dive center this morning. That's it there. And look at that, right behind me is the direct access to the boat that picks you up to take you diving. And uh, we're gonna get out on that glass boat that has a glass bottom on the bottom of it, like the glass bottom, or I don't know what it's called, like glass boat or glass bottom boat or something like that. But apparently it's gonna show us some pretty interesting stuff below. I mean, I see a lot just snorkeling here. So the other thing I wanna mention about these islands is once you're here, you can kick back, there's no stress. Um, you got big villas here, you know, anywhere from 85 to 110 meters. That's almost a thousand square feet. Uh, even the room has like a, a butler that comes to your room, cleans twice a day, does turn down service, sometimes puts a chocolate on your bedding, uh, you know, before a little snack before you sleep. I mean, just all these little uh, extra bonus things are really, uh, you really feel like you're getting your money's worth here. Absolutely. If you need anything or you run out of anything, they have it. And you kind of wonder, where do they find it on this island? It's not like they have a Home Depot or a Walmart on this island. They got to bring everything in here. So it's always clean. It's always immaculate. It's perfect. It's like a fairy tale, to be honest with you. I'm going to interview the uh, general manager of this resort. He's quite an interesting guy. And apparently he's got a pretty cool way to get around this island. So I'm going to show you guys that today. The staff love this guy. I mean, everybody I talk to on this island just talk, raves about him. So um, he's been in the business for a while. We're going to ask him some important questions, especially in this climate, this tourism climate right now that's getting absolutely hammered uh, by this crazy uh, thing going on in the world. Wow, uh, just as me coming over here in the last couple of, well, last week or so, uh, massive things have changed. Could be tough, uh, tough times ahead for the Maldives, that's for certain, and tough times ahead for any vacation market out there. But this is not gonna be a downer video. I'm gonna, you know, do some pretty fun things for us. Hey, even if you're not here, you're here. Just gonna find the Yulia, there she is ready to go she's got a game plan ready for me and uh, ready for you guys so guys Glenn and Kate invited us to take this uh, I guess it's called a glass bottom boat. Pretty damn expensive boat. Anyway, it's my first time, so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me to see something pretty amazing. It goes really fast, shows lots of fishes underneath. I don't know what we're getting into, but come along, let's go. Yesterday, we managed to just swim out from our room uh, into the, you'll see it here along the blue water. That's the house reef. Lots of fishes, lots of shark, and it's free. The other thing that you can do is if you're a diver, it's about a hundred bucks, give or take, and you can take this little beauty here. This is the glass bottom boat. So all these excursions are really affordable. It really helps me if you can subscribe to my channel. Just hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. That really helps me. So we're about to go into the little uh, open glass area to look below the boat. So what do you think? Oh, very interesting. 
interesting if you're scared of snorkeling or you don't want to get into the water. I don't want to call this a lazy man's version of doing it, but this is pretty amazing. You get to pretty much see all the fish you want just by sitting here relaxing inside a boat. So if you don't want to snorkel, scuba dive, this is definitely the way to go. Let's keep looking. So just like that, the boat is scanning the ocean floor here. We get a bird's eye view of everything that's going on underneath us, all different species, fishies, you name it, little minos, and sometimes sharks, and of course today, turtles. part of the package here I think as of recording is part of the package if not there is usually an additional fee somewhere from 20 to 40 dollars in that range these guys have been great they've showed us everything they're well educated and they come with a great little fish guide to show you what fishes that you're looking at so what a fun way to see fish I mean yeah I like snorkeling I can't scuba dive because I got an ear problem my wife she scubas but what a great way to see fish you know not everybody wants to put on snorkel gears and float around in the water. And, you know, if you're a little bit older, you've seen it enough. But, I mean, these guys here, they take a glass bottom boat out and you can get to enjoy everything. And pretty stress-free. The boat can fit uh, probably about 15, 20 people. Now, when I mean seclusion, I mean seclusion. When you're on these islands, you and the guests are the only people pretty much allowed on here and the staff, of course. You're not gonna get all these random boats like you do in Pattaya or whatever, you know, Phuket, that uh, come up to the shores to try to sell you packages. You're not gonna get any of these beach sellers trying to sell you t-shirts or knickknacks. This is total seclusion. Uh, you can see off here in the distance, if you wanna take a kayak or a catamaran, uh, those are usually included with the uh, room for free and uh, as well as they got jet skis now these jet skis are you know all brand new from what i've seen here and there's no jet ski scams going on here in the maldives that's for certain so you know kind of fun things to do there's always something to do here we're just going to see glenn the uh, resort manager here I'm gonna ask him some cool questions You're not part of the buggy network. Uh, you have your own mode of transportation. Absolutely, I'm, uh, I'm going through my second childhood and it started <laughs> off with uh, purchasing a Segway. I, I did some Segway in uh, Portugal and in France uh, with a wine tour. I mean, you know, what can go wrong with wine and alcohol in a Segway? Um, but I love it. Yeah, and you know, it's, uh, it's a great way to get around the island and actually talk to guests. It's a bit of a conversation starter. It, it must be hard to, is it hard to bring in all this product into the island? We're quite lucky in the sense that you know, we, we, we have lovely fresh tuna obviously and coconuts and stuff from, from this country but we pretty much have to buy everything ourselves. So it allows us to pretty much, our, our, the whole world is our shopping basket. So a lot of our fresh fruit um, and vegetables come from Thailand, they come from Sri Lanka, and we're bringing that in regularly every day. And um, yeah, it's just uh, it's a logistical challenge at times. We were talking, you were talking about the sustainability of the resort yep. and how, what changes and challenges are coming up. Yeah, look, uh, we are a, a new resort, so we have a lot of uh, 
new technology in terms of even power generation. Uh, we capture uh, steam off our generators, we convert that fully into steam, pump that over to our laundry and we use that for our steam iron presses and, and within the machines themselves. So there's a, a huge amount of efficiency there. Um, yeah, in terms of we have a lot of vegetation so we want to convert that into compost and use that back into the garden so it's self-sustaining. Uh, we have, when we first opened, we used to use plastic bottles for water, yeah. so we've now uh, invested in a full bottling plant, so that now uh, you know, we've pretty much removed 90% of all the plastics from the islands, um, and, and yeah, we, we have our own bottled water. Um, we took a nice tour of that facility yesterday to oh, see okay, how it, it was quite amazing. So what are all these fancy lights here? So what are we using this for now? You gotta blast it through the pipes to get to your room because you got a lot of pipe down this whole island, right? Three tanks this size, 390,000 liters of water. You had a carpenter down there, you had a painter down there, yeah. you had electrical guys telling us how the, the diesel was put into the tank and how the generators work and the yeah. reverse osmosis and it's and extraordinary. You get, and you get those guys there because they're passionate about what they do. It's those guys that are driving that back of house feeling and and providing everything for the guests. And it's, it's an area uh, that most people don't see. And you don't see those guys. And they are, you know, they're the unsung heroes of the mm -hmm. resort. So has anything changed now? When I came a few years ago, I'm not sure if there was two choices, but when I'm booking the rooms uh, a couple of years ago, I would have to decide, you know, do I want breakfast? Do I want breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Yep. Has anything changed or anything moving forward that's going to be changing in that? Oh, actually, yes. People have been saying and, and starting to ask for this to happen. We first budget on our all-inclusive, maybe 25% of our market would be right. coming in on that. We're now running at 62% naturally. Wow. Okay. And so those figures are telling us that people want to pay the one price before they leave home and they know that they don't have to pay any more money at the end of it. Even minibar, and the minibar is a big thing. Yeah. So you know, you come in, <laughs> you can have, you know, we'll stock your minibar up once a day. It includes premium spirits in there as well, as well as sparkling wines and, and, and beautiful New Zealand Savion Blancs, which obviously I'm very passionate about. Um, so it's a premium product and you're going to get great value for money. Your average room or villa is around anywhere from 80 meters to 120, yeah. somewhere in that range? Yeah, you even, yeah, even larger. And even, yeah. even larger? Yeah. If you were to get an identical unit, which I don't think actually exists in other countries, uh, in, let's say in Hawaii, in an all-inclusive, would you say it's probably not uncommon to pay five times more than you would here? Yeah, look, I, I think, and it's funny, because the value now, and as, as I think I said before, that the competition in the Maldives is, is quite, and so the, the, the pricing here uh, is great value for money, and you know, the size and the property that you're going to get, the, hopefully the attention to detail and the service mm -hmm. that you will get, the country, the government, the people uh, are very focused on that tourism and that service. And, and they're very humble about giving it, which is quite nice. It's not rehearsed, it's not practiced. You know, it's coming from the heart, and, and it's, so it's a genuine experience. What's the most interesting request from a guest that has got here? Like, have they requested something that is just the most bizarre thing? <laughs> Do you know what? I, I don't even consider anything now bizarre. <laughs> this, this is our new normal. There is nothing that um, has been requested that I haven't sort of thought went, I wonder if we can do that. Um, so, so I, I, I'm not sure of even uh, an example that... I'll that give you an example. We were at a, a resort, another resort, not this one, but there was guests that were catching crab and putting them in their bathtub to maybe that's cook normal. them. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's normal. That's not you. That's, that's, that's incredibly normal, okay. depending on the nationality. Actually, I'm, I'm trying to see, think of something that we're is actually to, we're unique. We're fishing for gossip. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think uh, probably one of the, the most uh, ironic, or well, not even ironic, but one of the, if you if you look at two separate, absolute separate cultures that are staying in, in a room side by side, um, and, 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 you know, this is the way of the world, but we, we had some uh, you know, lovely Russian guests that were in one of our water villas, right. and the young lady decided to uh, swim topless, yep. which in this country is, is actually illegal. Um, but, you know, she took, it was a beautiful day, the sun was shining, the water was thing. On the other side was 
uh, our, our Arab guests oh, wow. uh, with a lot stricter you know, sort of thing, and that that caused uh, an, an absolute issue. Okay, for, I can for, see that for both parties, <laughs> and so for culturally, we have to you know go in and. Um, speak to the couple that were swimming uh, with perhaps they should have had some more clothing on um, and, and obviously apologising for uh, the other guests that had been sort of put in that position. You know, the Maldives is a Muslim country um, and so we have to respect the cultures and stuff that, uh, are, in the, in, that are required. But it, it, for us it was, well, it was such a contrast yeah. of, of realities um, that imagine. we can do with. But that's why we love doing what we're doing. I always get this question, and you probably get this question a hundred times, is people say, what do you do on an island in the middle of the Indian Ocean all day? Aren't you bored? You can go and do boot camp if you really, uh, uh, you know, you've had a big dinner the night before, you've got the guilt, right, uh, we're going to go and do boot camp. We have free yoga classes. Um, you know, you can take a beautiful walk through the uh, the jungle. You can go jet, jet skiing. You can go paraponting. Um, you know, you can sit and find a little quiet area and read a book. Um, look, the limitations is up to your imagination. Uh, that's it. We, we, we can provide most things. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not just about lying on the beach. But you know what? Sometimes you do need that. You need that quiet time. You even got sharks. You can go shark watching. I mean, where you else can, can you do that? You can. Um, you know, we, we don't specifically train them to come up, but they are, they're a natural resource around, particularly up here in the north. I want to say this in the most positive way, but the dream of running a guest house on a populated island in the Maldives didn't have the effect I thought it would have. Right. I thought we could really interact with the locals on this island and that just, we just didn't connect. You have to bring in the local community to support that. If you don't have that, then it's just the guest house. But there's other islands that simply just don't want it. Yeah. And, and so, and, and that's fair enough. I mean, it's their island, it's mm -hmm. their home, it has been for generations. So they don't want a whole lot of you know, tourists or strangers coming yeah. on to, into their home. We, we have a lot of guests that all uh, that have spent you know, four or five days at a local a local guest house, and then they'll come here and they see that as a, a as a good mix. Um, you know, look, I, I think it's just whatever you're after. Um, you know, there is there's people out there that thoroughly enjoy the guest house experience. They've had a great experience. Others that have had a nightmare. The like same could be said if you stay in a resort. Yeah. yeah. Did you actually have any unhappy customers leaving your resort no, ever? None that I'm going to admit to. <laughs> <laughs> so. Any, so it used to be the average person that would come down here would be, you know, many years ago, um, honeymooners. Yeah. Who, who's arriving on these boats Every, now? Everybody. Yeah. Uh, you know, we have quite a big family market here. You know, the, the trend of you know having a, a family holiday without your kids is sort of far gone. I mean, we've got kids turning up that are 18, 19 years old and still coming with mum and dad. So, um, yeah, I wish I could do that. Yeah, That'd yeah, awesome. but uh, yeah, look, uh, you know, we, we have retirees, we have anniversaries, uh, we have honeymooners, we have people that just thought, you know, it's a, it's a bucket list destination, let's go. I think one of the advantages of uh, the Maldives is we are remote. Yeah. Every resort is on its own island. We're going to be isolated. Come and be isolated here. Absolutely. I mean, you know, we, we're, we're isolated on a, a five-star uh, resort in the middle of the Indian Ocean. And the, the, that blue water, the postcard, it, that is, that's the postcard that doesn't lie. Well, actually, I think that the actual physical thing is better than the postcard. Yeah. And thank you for your time. We appreciate it. We know you're a busy guy.